And here is the Writer's Almanac for Wednesday, January the 29th, 2020. It's the birthday of the man who said, There comes a time in the affairs of man when he must take the bull by the tail and face the situation. W.C. Fields, William Dukenfield, born Darby, Pennsylvania, 1880. Ran away from home as a child. He was a fabulously skilled juggler. He juggled in the carnival, then added a comedic routine to it, and went on to act in films, including films that, that he wrote, The Bank Dick, Never Give a Sucker an Even Break, You Can't Cheat an Honest Man. His career went downhill, At the end, he was alcoholic, died Christmas Day, 1946. It's the birthday of Thomas Paine, born Thetford, England, 1737, best known for writing Common Sense, the pamphlet that came out in 1776 that convinced many Americans, including George Washington, to fight for independence from England. It's the birthday of Chekhov, Anton Chekhov, Born in Russia in 1860, one of the inventors of the modern short story. Short stories full of characters who were sort of passive and which did not follow much of a plot, but which ended with a sort of epiphany. His first play was The Seagull. It opened in 1885. It got very bad reviews. Chekhov himself walked out at intermission, said he'd never write another play. But two years later, it was produced again. It got great reviews, and that inspired Chekhov to go on and write Three Sisters, The Cherry Orchard, and Uncle Vanya, all now considered classics. Anton Chekhov, who said, any idiot can face a crisis. It is this day-to-day living that wears you out. And it was on this day in 1996, the Opera House La Fenice burned to the ground in Venice, one of the most beautiful and important opera houses in the world. It wasn't the first time the house had burned down in 1774. It was rebuilt, destroyed again in 1836, restored in the mid-19th century. It was the scene of many of Verdi's premieres, including La Traviata. It burned down again. Arson was suspected. Two electricians were found guilty of setting the fire. They'd fallen behind on their repair work. They'd contracted to do it, and they were facing big fines because of it. The burning down and the rebuilding of the theater was the subject of John Barron's book, The City of Falling Angels, which was a big bestseller in 2005. Here's a poem by Barbara Crooker entitled Tomorrow. There will be sun scalloped by clouds, ushered in by a waterfall of birdsong. It will be a temperate 75, low humidity. For 24 hours, all politicians will be silent. Reality programs will vanish from TV, replaced by the snow that used to decorate our screens when reception wasn't working. Soldiers will toss their weapons in the grass. The oceans will stop their inexorable rise. No one will have to sit on a committee. When twilight falls, the aurora borealis will cut off cell phones, scramble the internet, will play flashlight tag, hide and seek, decorate our hair with fireflies, spin until we're dizzy, collapse on the dew-decked lawn, and look up, perhaps for the first time, to read the long lines of cold code written in the stars. A poem by Barbara Crooker tomorrow from Some Glad Morning, published by University of Pittsburgh Press and used by permission here on The Writer's Almanac. Funded by donations from listeners like you, now available on PRX for distribution by your local radio station. Be well, do good work, and keep in touch.